Hello everyone and welcome to Shadow of Judgment. Anyway, welcome to the show. This is where I look at the nooks, the crannies, the hidden in between. What's in the circle? What's outside the circle? What's in the four corners of wherever it is you are? Whether it be Earth, another planet, a turtle shell, your house, take it a shit on your toilet, whichever one you want to do. No big deal, right? What sign are we reading for next? We read for water already. We have Earth Signs, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Check your charts for this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Doesn't work if you don't believe in it. Just book your nose and let it go on your right. That's all. Also, if you want a personal reading after this, just hit me up in my email. Facebook, Instagrams below. Taurus, we got you already right here. Look at you go. You're all ready to be like, I make the rules and this is how it's going to go because I know it's the correct way. Right? Like my dudes, like you're already establishing your power. Look at that. So yeah, if you want a personal reading, just come on up round. Hit me up in one of those spots. First reading's free in the house. Everything else comes free of charge. And I do enjoy a good um, donation or two. I'll appreciate it, of course, and thank you kindly in advance. Ha! Ah, that was all crazy. Ew! You're not only establishing the um, rules for everybody, you are establishing the truth as well, Taurus. Look at that. Ace of Swords. And you are happy with your funds thinking then by yourself but something goes wrong here or something didn't come out the way you calculated with the magician reverse mm. you can't get any rest from the tree like you're single after being recently separated hmm what the hell is that that's french that's french Dude. Taurus and Dude. Let's see Taurus. Your shadow for this week. Mind you, this is for the week of the 23rd to the 30th of August of this current year, right? Hold on a second. I need to go grab my coffee cup. Anyway, um, your shadow of judgment is kind of interesting, Taurus, because it's based from this idea that um, you've been trying to find the truth and stuff, and the truth is all about, you know, like your whole purpose on this planet is how you can work for yourself, right? about that I just made a new cup because I'm actually going to have two days off for once and it's like ah oh. like I know I'm being spoiled saying that but ah oh. <laughs> now anyway like I was saying Taurus like you guys usually work for yourselves right and it seems like that's what you're trying to do here but something didn't work out because Someone overlooked something in their ego. Like something, something, I'm sorry, son, something suddenly popped up. Like what are those things, right, from the Brady Bunch movie? And it was like a waste of fucking time. Now we have somebody who is pretty good on their own individually with a nine of pentacles. It's like pre-empress, right? And maybe something didn't work out or something didn't manifest with the emperor because this is a young empress. This is like she's starting out. And she's starting out with, you know, a breakup happening. Not exactly with a kitty that gets up on the table and then, like, wants to rub her face into my face to show loves. You gotta... No. Hell no. You're not doing that shit today. You crazy, crazy lady, you. And ended up with, um... 
Taurus, so separation and someone keeping their eye out. Like either an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, but somebody is definitely spying in this situation, right? So that is an interesting theme in itself. And then like we have someone dealing with the truth over here, but not really being able to recover because it almost feels like they are kind of torturing themselves in this situation, really not knowing what to do. So that kind of sucks. Kitten, either get in your chair or lay down. I can't have both. Because the chair won't fit in my lap either. But anyway, it seems like that's kind of an issue, Taurus. Like, this person wants to know information about what options that you want to take, but it's almost like if this is you trying to figure out those options, you have no idea what you're going to take either. You're just as confused. Like, absolutely confused. So, let's see. How about this hanged man? Why is somebody hanging on beyond the period of time where you should let go? They're still fighting some shit off. Anybody and everybody. Um, wait, swinging their arms around like they're in a mosh pit where there's no music playing? Oh my god, everything just fell. Yes, kitten, I know. There's something that they aren't waiting for anymore. It's given them a lot of regrets, and since they're sitting on the throne looking pretty, they aren't going to try to take a leap of faith anytime soon, right? It's just like, no, 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 it's all good. I'm going to establish my rule here, you know? Excuse me, kitten. Ah, okay. I kind of wish I didn't put my... Okay, thank you, kitten. I appreciate it. You're a good kid. Anyway... Um, there's not a lot of, uh, of cohesion with between people right now. If there was like a sect that everybody belonged to, none of them are agreeing. They're all going at war, right? No one's making a booty call. Um, someone's having their feelings all out when it comes to starting something new here, Taurus. It could be a water sign you're dealing with, also a fire sign for sure. Um, most likely Sagittarius since Temperance is up here, but it's like someone's like really it like it, 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 It's just like they see this new start and just be like I will kill all of your kids Animals right in front of them before I slit their throats in front of you. You know just creepy a creepy like Creepy stuff, you know like really creepy things But that's your reading Taurus Let's see what is up with Virgo. Right? Right. Oh, it's my bitch. Lisa. She texts me. I have to say, like, I'm a much better internet friend than I am, like, an actual person friend. I'd rather just hit people up every once in a while and not actually physically be around them because it's, like, way too draining. I don't know. Maybe you feel that way, Virgo. Maybe it's why I said that. Okay, Gretchen, whatever you say. <laughs> Ugh. You are so, like, whatever, dude. Gretchen gives you shit all the time, too. Virgo, you're getting uh, the Hierophant Reverse and the Four of Swords Reverse. There might be a separation, a lack of commitment, excommunication, and someone is not taking a break after all that shit's happening. A door is closing up here. Or a marriage might be coming apart or some sort of commitment with another person is. Someone might be mulling and feel a little bit of grief with this separation. Might be a king of wands looking over at this door like, God damn it, I was trying to get over there. Ah, like, what am I supposed to do now, you know? Let's see. Yeah, this is... No booty will be found on this pirate ship. Arg, arg, arg. Um, some sneaky shit went down. Oh my goodness. We got this dude right... Okay, so this king looks over shit and he understands it. He just runs his mouth a lot and that's why this dude is not coming over here and that's why things won't really change the way people think that it should. And baboosh. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Hold up. Wait. Yeah, okay. Never mind. I've lost my shit. I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, Virgo. 
your shadow of judgment this week, right? You guys have like some lack of commitment coming on or maybe things just separated within what you know a society, community, understanding of how things progress and grow. Um, you might be feeling a little bit of guilt or a feeling of grief that how things have ended considering there was a lot of sneaky shit going on around you either verbally or mental wise some person could have been playing a game to like set you up or some shit because you all been dealing with somebody I don't know who that somebody is but you're always dealing with somebody like as late it's been water signs but this is like no water signs whatsoever right but it's like, it has something to do with business or a continuation of the family, the family wealth, um, that can, sense of closure, if you will. Like, but the door is closed and someone is not offering their booty because things have not changed or someone hasn't changed their ways. On the outside, someone is restless here. Um, King of Wands and the Page of Wands, both could be, um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but... Mm. Mm, mm, mm. They know how to compose themselves. They refuse to do so. I don't know why. It's just a thing. But it's what they do. Why won't this person compose themselves? Could be water sign. There he is. There he is. Uh, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone wants to validate their emotions. I feel like um, there's some clarity in that. Like maybe someone gets some, la, 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 la. someone gets a new mindset. Somebody starts understanding another's perspective, if you will. Maybe the truth finally comes in about what has broken their heart. But at the same time, like, they're looking at stuff like a mature person, but that fucking mouth. Like, just spraying out and saying all sorts of stuff that's been kept hidden about how they possibly want to validate what they know is true when it comes to a separation right here. Because this all feels like nothing but separation for you, Virgo. You might be getting onto a new journey. It could be scary, but like, you know, there's nothing wrong with starting anything new. Like, it's rather refreshing. He wants to keep doing the same thing for years and years and years. Eventually, you would have to get bored or frustrated. At least that's my Sag Rising saying, along with my Aquarius Moon. Like, my Capricorn Sun and Venus, you know, totally okay with that. But everything else is just like, oh, no, 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 no. We gotta do something new. We can't be doing this bullshit forever. <laughs> Alrighty. Let us see for Capricorns. What is coming up for your shadow this week, my darlings? Someone wants to give up. Or it doesn't feel like fighting people anymore? Ooh, there's your card. It's probably with you, Capricorn. Uh, or it could be a shit relationship because, like, nothing was working out. It could be in the workplace. It could be a workplace affair that just got all really nasty and shit. Someone's, like, facing off against the past or maybe even yielding to the past, right? This relationship that was not exactly good, what people will call toxic, and I hate that word, but it works because people know what I'm talking about. It kept somebody really tortured. Or someone's going to be feeling really tortured about that relationship. Because something didn't work out, someone felt disenfranchised, they felt broke. Or something at work happened where like someone could have actually possibly lost their job. Look at this now. No, I was actually thinking about maybe drawing my own tarot cards. I found the site where you print your own cards. I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Someone doesn't want to say dick about it, though. Ah, someone's worried about a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone who's really immature, but loving nonetheless. And once again, it's Mr. Mouth. Mmm. Look at that craziness. 
So someone's moving to calmer waters, it seems like, Capricorns. And because there's no recovery in this situation. Ooh, what? Ooh, that was a smack in the face. Okay. Hmm. Capricorns. It seems like. You've given up on a relationship from the past, decided not to say anything because you want to go to calmer waters because you know that this person's all upset about it. They feel broke about it. And if you come up to them, you're a knight at least. Like you're just being a smidge more mature than they are, but not by much. But this person's just going to come out and say whatever the hell it is they've been thinking up to say to you. For whatever fucking reason. Meanwhile, in this relationship, someone's played because they did want to give to their heart, but they never took the time to recover in this situation. Capricorns. So it could be the person you're dealing with could be you. It's whatever it is you want to choose. But it's like... For this week, it's like someone's going to figure out, I feel like... Well, what's the Six of Swords? Where is it going to lead them to? Strength could be Leo, someone's holding back their dark side, right? But it doesn't bring them any sort of victory. When it comes to trying to resurrect something. Okay, so like, if this person is just... Yeah, if this person is, um... I disrupt all those, but it doesn't matter. Ace of Cups reverse still came up, but it's the same exact fucking thing, so who gives a shit, right? This person's gonna hold up their strength as best that they can, Capricorns, but it's like they don't get a victory. Because it, it, at some point, they're gonna want to resurrect shit and realize that they can't because they sacrificed it in order to, um... I don't know, it's almost like trying to fix their own problems. It's like someone being a judgmental bitch about somebody else. But then coming to realize, you know, they only made that assumption about somebody because, like, they were too busy, like, not looking at their own behavior. You know? Which is really kind of weird. It's like, um... They're tortured about the love they could have given, but now they realize as they matured up that, like... They can't give it now. The other person decided not to, um... Rush in with nasty words i think so it could be you or that could be somebody else capricorn but it's kind of like you know for this week watch what it is you say because like if you're saying if you like for this week you don't say mean stuff out loud you know because if you do i feel like that's going to be more of a projection of what's bothering you than what's wrong with the other person but earth signs that is your shadow of judgment this week so if you liked and enjoyed this reading please like share and subscribe you don't have to no pressure but i would greatly appreciate it Mwah. love you all i will see you later bye bye